Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator. I'm SoCal Thero, and today we're going to be working on the Enzo Ferrari from the vehicles that I've been uh, working on here lately. As you can see, the interior is already done other than I need to put a steering wheel in it because uh, what had originally happened, in case you didn't catch that episode, I was going to put those wheel or those seats in the wide body GT86 Toyota and it turned out that they sat just a little too low to uh, look the part as they should in that vehicle so I went and gave them a shot in here and sure enough they turned out really well at least in my opinion they looked pretty good with that Ferrari red so we're gonna there's a few wheels in here I, I wouldn't mind picking up but it's just it says the wrong brand on it. <laughs> I don't really have a Ferrari DLC, so that doesn't help. I might have to just go with the standard waste or race looking wheel here. We'll do that. And then we still gotta do the exterior of the car, and then I still have to do the suspension components to it as well. Engine's already done, it's using the uh, Zonda motor. It has a few different swap options on it. It's just this is the one that I wanted to go with. Oh, I don't have a flywheel. Okay. And then I know that's a performance part, so we could do that here. I think that's the only part I don't have for the... There we go. Oh, no. Okay. I don't have that either. There we go. Since I did a, uh, prior to this, I did the restore of the Toyota GT86, and then I did the restore of the F-150, the, uh, police truck. What did that say? W-12? That doesn't look right. B-12B, that's it. Okay. Where is B-12B? B-12B, there it is. But, uh, after I did the F-150 as well... I kind of started to run out of parts, it looks like, here, that I would have in my inventory. So, most likely I'll have to buy parts, if you couldn't tell already, from the stuff I'm purchasing right now. So we're good on this one. The axle... Oh, I don't have any more rubber bushings. That's right, in the truck episode 2, I did mention I wasn't going to have any more pretty soon. And... Lo and behold, here we go. So we'll buy 40 of those. We'll burn through them real quick, too. Even though the game will have some frame droppage due to it, it's okay. There we go. Because, I mean, we just used four already of the 40. Uh, I think, yeah, I have plenty of those. There we go. Can I... There we go. I'm trying to get the camera so it's not so zoomed in. I was just like, geez, can't even see what I'm doing. Just the all car part in the screen. Alright, I have enough of these drive axles. Brakes aren't a problem. And the wheels and tires are already done. I kept the same wheel and tire package that comes with the car. It's pretty much for the uh, Zonda DLC. So, I just stuck to that. I'm assuming the wider wheels are going in the back, or wider tires, rather. There we go. And as you did see, it does have racing slicks on it, because I'm very curious to see how fast this thing can go. And I wanted to make sure I could hold it onto the track without crashing into the wall countless times like I do in previous episodes. And this stuff is just all jammed in here. And as far as the car parts go for the exterior, I didn't, I sold everything that I had because I did fix most if not all of it, but I wanted to see if there was any additional or like race kind of stuff you could do to uh, just make it look that much better instead of just a standard Enzo. But don't get me wrong, an Enzo Ferrari is amazing in itself, but just wanted to see what kind of options we had. Let's do this a little more dead on, so interrupt our star. There we go. So the entire back end's already buttoned up. The front end probably isn't gonna. Oh, I don't have any more inner tie rods. That's just not like me. Okay. 
So we're gonna need. Oh, I think that's. Why did I go to engine? I meant suspension. So we need inner tie rods now, which means we're gonna need outer tie rods pretty soon too. Let's get 20 of those. Get some outer tie rods too, just because I usually try to keep the same amount of each one. Put them in on both sides there. Kind of build both sides at the same time. Again, there's more of the rubber bushings. This is why I buy as much as I do. Another tie rod in. And like I said, we're gonna do both sides here pretty much at the same time, but from this one camera angle. best as I can anyways. Oh, damn. I wasn't sure if I had that part. I'm glad I do. Oh, I am out of sway bar front end links B. Let's see. Here we go. And we'll buy one. Oh, I bought two. I meant to buy one. Oh, well. I'm going to buy one just for measure since I didn't have enough and I'd have to use it for here. Alright, let's get these. Oh, I'm getting low on those axle knuckle covers too. I'm good, a lot of my parts are starting to deplete themselves. And I, yep, I'm out of the wheel hub caps. And I saw I was getting close on the bearings too. So, might as well buy those. We'll go hand in hand. Ready for the wheel and tire on this side and the front. There we go. I think that's everything. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. Get to this side here and let's finish it up. Let's do it at this angle so I can see. Yeah, there's nothing else left. Okay. This wheel hog cap. wheel and tire going on and we should be good mechanically with this car already so I do apologize in advance if this is going to be a shorter episode but I know people tend to just want to see the finished product and when it's all said and done oh, this thing looks good already okay let's look at the body paneling for the car I think I still have yeah the f-150 up from the last episode we'll just type in Enzo Yep, we're going to do tinted windows, just because it's a Ferrari. Engine cover, yep. Uh, looks like we got two options for the front bumper. We'll do the splitter one here, since this thing's going to be pretty quick. Need this. I don't need the glass anymore. Front right fender, okay. The hood. We got two options for the headlights. We'll go ahead and go with the traditional... Well, not traditional. We'll go with the black one. But we'll go with the traditional red for the uh, tail lights. Get this mirror on. Rear left fender and the rear right fender. Didn't I just... Oh, I didn't. Okay. So I need this and I need this, I'm assuming. And the trunk. And then for the rear bumper, we have our choice with the wing or without a wing. We're going to do with the wing just because... We're kind of doing the race car look here. Let's go ahead and start putting it together. Front left fender. That's oh, okay. That's cool. That's all part of that. And then, oh, that's how, I see what they did. That's how you button up all the stuff that's on there that you can't. That has to be on there for the car, but it doesn't really fit with the uh, mod. So that's pretty cool. Oh, it looks pretty mean with the blacked out headlights put the front bumper on this one apparently used to have that oh that's right it did I forgot this car did have that on it this one already kind of had the wide body package on it when I bought it so pretty much just getting one oh and then buy that mirror okay let's buy that mirror real quick the there's the left side there it is right side mirror so it's pretty much just getting an 
a facelift a little bit. Yeah, because it already had it back here, too. Put the rear bumper on. Get those taillights in. Man, that bumper is wide. <laughs> The trunk on, then it, yeah, then again, it's a wide car, so it makes sense. That glass, and we're gonna have to open this up so we can put stuff in here. Engine cover, oh, that's cool. Fender, there's something up here, too. Okay, oh, nice. I like what he did with that, so that way you can get everything to sit in there, and it looks like the Enzo, but still using the game's uh, parts and mechanics to it. It's cool. And everything checks out. It just needs a rear plate. Let's go ahead and do that. Put. We need one plate, and we'll put Enzo Race. This is gonna be a race car. Originally, it had a Spain plate on it, but now it's in California. I mean, it's probably illegal like this, but oh well. <laughs> if you're driving a Ferrari Enzo, you're not too worried about paying tickets, I'm assuming anyways. I'm gonna put it in the paint shop. We'll look to see if it has any liveries. I doubt it does, but we'll see. If it doesn't, it's definitely not staying this color. Nope, it's not. Okay. Yeah, it's not staying this color. We're doing a Ferrari red. Um... That's too dark. Ferrari red is that's kind of bright. And it's a Ferrari, so we probably want to do we'll do like a pearl color. And do like Oh, it's hard to tell. I'm gonna go with that. Yeah, we'll go with that. Try to get it. I like that bright Ferrari red. Ooh, that looks good. That's a good looking car. Alright, let's go ahead and take it to the dyno and see what kind of performance it's doing now. And then, uh, before we run it, let's do the tune on it so we can get the extra gear out of it. Oh, it's already got seven gears. Never mind. Don't need to. Let's just give it a shot. Let's see how it does without it. power is 726 horses and ours is up to 1259 that is insane this thing is gonna scream down the track I am really happy that I put racing slicks on this thing now so I don't uh, don't end up into the wall so many times I may still this thing's gonna be quick oh man this thing looks good it looks really good I'm digging this red red seats look good in it too all right let's start it up Sounds mean. If you're wearing headphones like I am, you can hear the engines behind you. That's cool. All right, let's go take it. <coughs> let's see how it does at the speed track. This will be pretty neat to see. 1,200 horses. Pretty much almost 1,260. This thing's going to scream. You can maybe get that time to see how long it takes to go to zero to 300 kilometers if it goes quick enough. I'm just gonna do this so you guys can see it now. <laughs> and I can move that camera around. Okay, cool. Alright, let's go ahead and go. sucks that it didn't have working dials but Jesus 
top speed of 373 kilometers an hour. That's insane. That is absolutely insane. It took 13 seconds to get to 300 kilometers an hour. The thing was a, just a bat out of hell. That was, that was crazy. This thing is definitely fast. And again, it's an Enzo and it's completely hooked up, so that makes sense. Oh man, that thing is cool looking. I'm having a hard time not looking at it. This guy did a great job with this mod. I'm gonna have to say this ranks up there with my uh, the whoops the Charger Hellcat that I did the restore on as far as favorites go. This thing just looks absolutely insane. Oh man. Well guys, I know this is going to be a little bit of a shorter episode, but let me know down in the comments below what you thought. Let me know what you think of this Ferrari Enzo. It's absolutely taking my breath away right now. But uh, if you did enjoy this episode and don't feel like leaving a comment, the other way to let me know you enjoyed it is by simply clicking the like button. But until next time guys, take care. Oh, oh, oh.